Flight management. Today, we self-assess. What does effective communication look like to you? I mean, because when you think about engaging in a conversation with someone, first of all, um, communication is a dialogue, not a monologue. So with you giving instructions or whatever it is, Effective communication is when whoever you're speaking with understand. It's not the eloquence and 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 the way you articulate and and your 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 terms, the language that you use. If we're not under like if you speak Spanish and you are speaking to me in Spanish and I don't understand Spanish, like yeah, you're communicating to me, but you're not communicating with me. Like, there's a disconnect there. I have no earthly idea of what you're talking about. So, where you're communicating, it's not effective communication. So, when you're communicating to your team members, are you sure they're understanding? If you have to follow up to make sure they fully understand, what their assignment is, what their responsibilities are, their duties, their job description, like to make sure that whatever task you have assigned to them, please, in that moment, make sure they understand. If you have to follow up to make sure they understand, then we're on the same page as effective communication. So what does your ideal of effective effective communication looks like? And when you have the idea of what your effective communication looks like and you and your team member is on the same page, now we can create a connection. Because now we we are un, we understand the the communication has been conveyed, it has been had. Now we can move forward and making sure that that communication with not just that individual is understood. Now, when it comes down to communication, we have yes, we have to look at language.